Hello, in today's review I am testing another cordless vacuum cleaner for you. This time my choice fell on the Karcher VC6 model with additional attachments dedicated to car owners. How does this model perform in practice? How long does the battery last? Is it efficient? Is it comfortable above all? And is it worth buying? All about this in today's video. Hit like and subscribe to help my channel grow. Thank you. The Karcher VC6 Upright Vacuum Cleaner is a device that attracts with its modern design and the promise of high efficiency. Powered by a 25 volts battery, equipped with a HEPA-12 filter and a range of accessories, this model seems to be the answer to the needs of demanding users. But does it fulfill the manufacturer's promise? In this review, we will take a close look at its functionalities, advantages and potential shortcomings. I borrowed the VC car version of the vacuum cleaner from the manufacturer for testing and this time I took the vacuum cleaner to a hair salon for review. When testing competing models and I have in mind the Bosch, Dyson and Samsung models I tested recently, I test them in a similar way. This time as you can see I took the vacuum cleaner to a hair salon where there is a slightly different type of dirt. However, as usual we added some salt, sugar and other stubborn dirt. To check how the suction power looks like, whether the vacuum cleaner copes with such things. Ergonomics and ease of use. One of the biggest advantages of the Karcher VC6 is its lightness and ease of maneuvering. Weighing just under 2.5 kilograms, the vacuum cleaner does not fell heavy even during longer use. A large wall mount with a charger and a comfortable rubberized handle make working with the device quite comfortable. The vacuum cleaner looks nice, fits great in the hand and the air does not blow on your face, which I noticed in the previous Samsung Bespoke Jet AI test. The main unit has a fairly large handle, which facilitates grip. There is a power button here that needs to be pressed and held with a finger for the device to work. However, sometimes it happened to me that despite pressing, the vacuum cleaner turned off. Right next to this button, the manufacturer has placed a special locking clip. It can be moved, which will lock the switch, and the device will work all the time. It's a bit of a strange solution, especially since in other vacuum cleaners I've tested, usually you just need to press the switch and that's it. No additional clips or switches. I also like that the central unit is white, not the typical yellow color for Karcher. Thanks to this, it fits better in modern rooms. The HEPA-12 filter is a key element of the VC6, ensuring high quality filtration. This is particularly important for allergy sufferers and those who care about clean air in the home. The inlet air filter combined with a bagless filtration system provides effective removal of pollutants and allergens from surfaces. Performance and functionality. The Karcher VC6 can work in two modes. The first, such a default, which works immediately after turning on the device. This is the one most commonly used for regular vacuuming. However, when we come across some more stubborn dirt, if we want to move it, for example, on a carpet, or vacuum somewhere in a corner and need a little more power, we can activate an additional mode. This is the boost mode. It is activated by clicking such a big button right at the top of the device, right next to the handle. In normal mode, the device works for about 50 minutes. However, in boost mode, battery lasts just under 11 minutes. The suction power is sufficient for everyday use. In the case of more dirty places, or vacuuming in harder to reach places, the boost mode is much better. However, in this mode, the battery literally disappears in front of your eyes and the operating time of the device drops to below 10 minutes. This is one of the drawbacks, especially compared to competing models. Additionally, the battery charging time is almost 4 hours, which is quite a long time but rather standard in the cordless vacuum cleaner segment. The battery can be unclipped from the vacuum cleaner and charged separately. Accessories and extras. Practical accessories, including a large universal floor brush with LED lighting, a long and flexible crevice nozzle, and a large upholstery nozzle. Another curiosity is the additional crevice nozzle with LED lighting. These accessories greatly facilitate the cleaning of hard to reach elements, as well as car interiors. The upholstery nozzle is suitable for quick vacuuming of seats and sofas, but its stiffness may cause problems in moving over less even surfaces, such as bucket car seats or less angular classic furniture. I noticed this when trying to vacuum hair salon furniture, which posed a significant challenge for the upholstery nozzle. The flexible hose with extension worked much better in this role. For the purposes of the tests, as usual, I spilled some coffee, sugar, salt, and also papers. 
and due to the test in the hair salon, also hair, the vacuum cleaner coped, but in the case of hair, it was necessary to use the boost mode and change the vacuuming method a bit. What I didn't like, Despite many advantages, VC6 also has a few drawbacks that I noticed. Karcher VC6 does not maneuver as well as the Samsung Bespoke Jet AI, which I could turn in place by even 90 degrees. Here it is not bad, but with a larger turn, you can feel that the brush starts to lock. I also miss the ability to adjust the length of the main vacuum tube. Taller people will have to stoop. Not always the clips of different brushes catch the first time so you have to struggle a bit with their attachment. This note also applies to the lock of the main suction brush. To clean it, you need to release such a lock to be able to remove the roller. This element is made of delicate plastic and even gentle use of a screwdriver immediately chipped such a lock. The roller itself also needs to be properly cared for it to want to jump into its place. This made me probably not want to touch this element too often in the future. Testing cordless vacuums from the competition, I noticed one thing that annoyed me a lot. During vacuuming, we cannot pause for a moment and just leave the vacuum cleaner upright. We have to lean it against something or simply lay it on the ground. This is not very convenient and it surprised me all the more because one of the first vacuum cleaners I had the opportunity to test is such a model that can be said is a cheap store vacuum cleaner. You can see more on this topic on my blog. Well, right there, without any problem, we can fold the device and it automatically locks and we can put it anywhere without any problem. And it is a device several times cheaper than all those I have tested so far. That's why I'm surprised that in the next model, there is no possibility of bending the device and leaving it upright. However, in the case of the Karcher VC6, there is another problem here. It has such large wheels at the bottom. They are cool in that they are large, they are also very agile and easily move across different surfaces. The vacuum cleaner willingly glides across such surfaces. However, the problem here is quite different. Namely, if we lean the vacuum cleaner against a wall or any other piece of furniture, then after these wheels, they just start to move and the vacuum cleaner automatically slides out and falls over. So the best way to temporarily put down the Karcher VC6 is to simply lay it flat on the ground. So there is no other option here unless we put it in the docking station. But the point here is to leave the vacuum cleaner for a moment. When we want to move it, for example, move a chair or bend down for something or go for another brush. Here's the problem too. Speaking of lying on the ground, when vacuuming hard to reach places, for example under a sofa, I noticed that you need to be careful when tilting it to the level. It is not possible to lay it flat because it starts to scratch the surface with the handle of the brush. I also paid attention to the battery life. Full charging takes four hours and in normal mode, we can vacuum for four hours for a maximum of 30, 40 minutes. Cleaning a two-story house, I couldn't do it on one battery. In boost mode, we can vacuum for less than 10 minutes on a fully charged battery. That's quite a bit. Here I also move on to the next problem. If we wanted to buy an additional battery, we can do it for nearly 300 euro, which is almost 75% of the value of the entire tested set. For comparison, an additional battery for the Samsung Jet costs 210 euro, and for Bosch Unlimited 7, 45 euro. The Karcher VC6 Upright Vacuum Cleaner is a device that evoked mixed feelings in me. On the one hand, it is light, agile, vacuums quite well, and it also looks pretty good. So we have everything we can expect from a good cordless vacuum cleaner. On the other hand, a few ill-considered solutions. The battery less efficient than the manufacturer's declaration, and quite an expensive additional battery to purchase can discourage. At the time of creating this video, the Karcher VC6 costs 400 euro and is on sale. If there were two batteries in the set, it would be a great proposition for any apartment or house. I like this vacuum cleaner, but it's not love. Whether for 350 euro or at the regular price of almost 460 euro, if we wanted to buy a second battery, it comes out to over 700 euro. Is it a good purchase? Definitely not at this price. But if you have a small house, if you don't have any major dirt, or if you just clean, tidy up the house regularly, then it is a good option but to a hair salon. Would I buy this vacuum cleaner? Certainly not with one battery because I would have to keep it on the charger all the time and simply know during the day there would not be enough power in this battery to be able to use it regularly. Thank you for your attention. If you have any additional questions, if you have any suggestions for other equipment that I should test for you, let me know in the comments and I will also be happy to know. Thank you for all the comments, for all the likes. Take care. Bye.